All right, welcome everybody. It's time to start. Uh, we'll have a bunch of practice problems. We didn't get to do a bunch of mini practice problems last time. So let's get it started. And some of you look really weird. It's okay. Okay, whatever you got going on. All right, let's try this first one, which turns out to be 0 0.04. Sorry, I zoned out for a little bit. Zero, five. That's been happening more. Sometimes I get ringing in my ears, too. Okay. <laughs> so, so we've been good about that. Okay, so we get a pen out. Excuse me, I have a question. Uh, I didn't even do anything yet. <laughs> I'm already really confused. Okay. Um, my yeah. question is, what did you want to be when you grow up? Be when I grew up. You ever look at somebody and wonder what's going on inside of their head? What's going on inside of Dr. E's head? What emotions are controlling him? Who is Dr. E really? Well, let me introduce you to the emotions inside of Dr. E's head. There's five of us, and we'll give you the inside out view of Dr. E's head. Class average. <laughs> the HCL travels. 
equals the inverse of the molar mass. Okay, so let's see what we get. Molar mass of HCl, 1.5 times 1. For every meter that HCl goes, NH3 goes about one and a half meters. Okay. Who is that intruder? Ask him. Intruder. Oh no! It can't be. It's that lazy guy again. I thought we got rid of him years ago. What put him in here? We should be happy. It's Dr. E's imaginary friend from childhood, Big Bob. Is he here to kill us? Or, or worse? Embarrass us. Uh, I'm letting him out of here. No, 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 no. He might have chemical effects on him. He's imaginary. He can't have any. What is he? Bing bong. Is he in this real class? Is Bing bong here to do something totally <laughs> Mission accomplished. Dr. Universe is going to crumble if he messes up his class. Let's just leave Bing bong alone and see what happens. Maybe the problem will go away. Okay, well, uh, we're finished with chapter six. So let's see, we did 57, uh, 58, and 59. What you see on 58, I'm not going to cover explicitly, but you would be expected to know it, so just uh, make sure you know that. On page 59, that's just our summary of the chapter, what's expected from the MCAT. Let's see what we just did in chapter six here. We did a lot of stuff. We did the kinetic theory of gases. We just derived that. We covered all the gas laws. We did the gas laws. why when you're talking about radio stations, let's say on some of your cars, you would have like a, let's say an antenna that's about this long. That would match what would be the approximate amplitude for this. So if you had that uh, an antenna this long, it catches radio waves. Different antennas are made to catch different lengths of waves. So that's why your cell phone, which operates at a different frequency, has a smaller antenna. All the antennas, their purpose is to catch the wave, and the wave has to match the size of the antenna. As a different example in chemistry, if you take like an atom, <laughs> an atom has bonds that are on the order of like 10 to the minus 10 or an atom that are opposite of each other, and then they come together, they cancel each other out. So you have a line or destructive interference. The uh, press become smaller, the troughs become higher. So, top is constructive, bottom.